players. So I reported on this story very extensively back in 2021 when it first happened. So on October 26th of 2021, Gloria Williams' son called 911 stating that he had been living in an apartment with his siblings, one of which had been deceased for at least a year in the apartment. He said that there was no electricity, that there was no food, and that they were living in very deplorable conditions. Authorities showed up on the scene and they found the two siblings very malnourished, bruised, battered, and they also found their eight-year-old brother deceased in the apartment in the same room in which they were forced to live in, covered in a soiled blanket. Gloria Williams and her boyfriend, Brian Coulter, who is not the father of the children, moved out of the apartment in March of 2021, coming back every few weeks or so to bring food, and according to prosecutors also, so Brian Coulter could beat the boys. When authorities found the boys, they were extremely malnourished, dirty, they were hungry, and also one of the boys had a broken jaw. He had to have surgery. So a few days after this, they arrested Gloria Williams and Brian Coulter. Um, they found them at a local library looking up news articles about the case to find, I guess, to find out when they would be arrested. On Brian Coulter's Instagram page, you can find videos of him bragging about his jewelry, showing off his clothes, also showing off food that Gloria had cooked for him, like steak and potatoes, uh, spaghetti, uh, pork chops, things like that. All the while, her sons were starving, and they were f taking them noodles and snack cakes. So Gloria Williams was charged with injury to a child by omission and tampering with evidence, and her boyfriend, Brian Coulter, was charged with murder in the death of her eight-year-old son. The medical examiner determined that her son had been deceased since November of 2020 and that he died from blunt force trauma. So Brian Coulter waived his right to a jury trial. It started last week and prosecutors showed text messages between he and Gloria where she described that she believed her son was deceased and that he said it was in the Lord's hands now. Uh, the boys testified, the older boy, who's 17 now, testified in the room with Brian Coulter and said that he thought of Brian as a father figure, but he would lock them in the room, that he would beat them every time they came over to visit, and they had no uh, beds, no sheets, no blankets, just an empty room. Um, he the younger boy who was present in the room when the horrible despicable act happened stated that Brian Coulter uh, beat the eight-year-old boy with toys an action figure uh, spider-man so yesterday after 20 minutes the judge found Brian Coulter guilty of murder and sentenced him to life in prison without the possibility of parole for murdering eight-year-old Kendrick Lee. Gloria Williams has not been tried yet, but her trial is supposed to start soon. The two remaining boys have been placed in foster care, and according to the judge, she said during sentencing that she's glad to see that they are thriving, and it appears that they have family members that love them. It's important to note that uh, Gloria Williams had been investigated by CPS in 2015, as well as 2018. There was also some truancy cases out on her with the school. However, they had been uh, dismissed uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This is so very sad and uh, it really hurts. I don't understand how a person could do this sort of thing to a child, to anybody, but let alone to a defenseless child children 
I'm hoping that those babies are getting all the help that they need. And I'm hoping that little Kendrick rest in peace. Please put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D1 for the Black Dude Nation.